done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From thee let my vindication come, let thine eyes see the right. If thou triest my heart, if thou visitest me by night, if thou testest me, thou wilt find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress with regard to the works of men. By the word of thy lips I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to thy paths, my feet have not slipped. I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me, O God. Incline thine ear to me, hear my words. Wondrously show thy steadfast love, O Savior, to those who seek refuge from their adversaries at thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of thy wings from the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity, with their mouths they speak arrogantly. They track me down, now they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a young lion eager to tear, as a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them. Deliver my life from the wicked by thy sword, from men by thy hand, O Lord, from men whose portion in life is of the world. May their belly be filled with what thou hast stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold thy face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with beholding thy form. To thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in thee I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Yea, let none that wait for thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. For thee I wait all the day long. Be mindful of thy mercy, O Lord, and of thy steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to thy steadfast love, remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. He himself shall abide in prosperity, and his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thou to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy steadfast love. According to thy abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. 
Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done that which is evil in thy sight, so that thou art justified in thy sentence and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness. Let the bones which thou hast broken rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering, thou wouldest not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good to Zion in thy good pleasure, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then wilt thou delight in right sacrifices, and burnt offerings, and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. By thy cross thou didst destroy death, to the thief thou didst open paradise. For the myrrh bearers thou didst change weeping into joy, and thou didst command thy disciples, O Christ God, to proclaim that thou art risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most glorious art thou, O Christ our God. Thou hast established the Holy Fathers as lights on the earth. Through them thou hast guided us to the true faith. O greatly compassionate one, glory to thee, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that has put forth the fruit of life. We pray thee, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, and may the God of our salvation prosper us, for he is our God, the God of salvation. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The dominion of death can no longer hold men captive, for Christ descended, shattering and destroying its powers. Hell is bound while the prophets rejoice and cry. The Savior has come to those in faith. 
and to you faithful into the resurrection. The Son who shone forth from the Father was ineffably born, twofold in nature of a woman. Having beheld him, we do not deny the image of his form, but depict it piously and rever it faithfully. Thus, keeping the true faith, the Church venerates the icon of Christ incarnate. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the entreating cries of us sinners, but in your goodness come speedily to help us who call on you in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for you always protect those who honor you. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to the salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. Through the prayers of all thy saints, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and according to Thy divine judgment, save me, Thine unworthy servant. For blessed art Thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who art everywhere, and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth, shall show forth thy praise. It is time for the Lord to act. Bless, Master. Bless is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Pray for me, Master. May the Lord direct your steps. Remember me, Holy Master. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our metropolitan. 
Dalton Tikon, our Bishop Alexis, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages.
commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Master, Lord our God, who has appointed in heaven orders and hosts of angels and archangels for the service of thy glory, grant that with our angels and in the attentions of holy angels serving with us and glorifying thy goodness, for unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. God cleanse me as sinner and be merciful. God cleanse me a
unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages to all and to <clears throat> and to your spirit wisdom the prokemenon in the seventh tone the lord shall give strength to his people the lord shall bless his people with peace in the 
fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Wisdom. The reading from the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Let us attend. Brothers and sisters in Christ, working together with him, then we entreat you not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, at the acceptable time, I have listened to you and helped you on the day of salvation. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We put no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way. Through great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, tumults, labors, watching, hunger, by purity, knowledge, forbearance, kindness, the Holy Spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God. With the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute, we are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet well known. As dying, behold, we live, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is well that the heart be strengthened by grace, not by foods which have not benefited their adherents. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the bodies of the animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore let us go forth to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city which is to come. Through him then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for the sacrifices are pleasing to God. Peace be unto your reader. And to your spirit. Wisdom. Alleluia, 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 in the seventh dawn. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing thy praises to thy name, O Most High. And doing such things is so well pleasing unto thee, for thou art the only name of our souls and bodies of Christ. And to thee we ascribe glory together with thy Father, and the Spirit of us, thinking thy whole holy good and thy great spirit forever. To ages of ages, in the morning and thy truth by night. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Another in the first tone, the Lord, the God of gods, speaks 
peace and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. proclaims the glad tidings of the holy apostle and evangelist Luke. May God, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostle and evangelist Luke, enable you to proclaim the glad tidings with great power to the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, wisdom. Stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to the Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus went to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow and a large crowd from the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came and touched the bier, and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak, and he gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that the Son may glorify thee, since thou hast given him all power over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me in thy own presence with the glory which I had with thee before the world was made. I have manifested thy name to the men whom thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they know that everything that thou hast given me is from thee, for I have given them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and know in truth that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are thine, all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost by the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Peace be unto you, proclaim the gospel. seated. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is in our midst. Life indeed has its ups and downs, and the longer we live in this world, the more we experience that. Yesterday, we celebrated a very joyous event, wedding in our parish. 
And uh, not only is it joyous liturgically in the church, it's also a celebration always among families and friends invited to a reception and dancing and music and joy and euphoria. It's always about hope for the future, a bright future and everything else. That's what's on everybody's mind. This morning, we hear in the first gospel reading the opposite of that. We have a very sad situation given to us from an eyewitness, St. Luke. Doesn't give us a parable, but in this case, it's actually part of the gospel narrative. He describes a scene where as Christ and his disciples are heading into the city of Nain, there's another great crowd of people moving in the opposite direction, and they meet just outside the city. The ones who were leaving the city were doing so with very heavy hearts. It was a funeral procession. It was a very sad situation, as we are told. They were going to bury someone who had died, and although death is always tragic and sorrowful, the circumstances in this case were particularly so, since we know that the dead person was a young man, the only son of his widowed mother. In those days, it was particularly hard for a woman, especially a widow, to survive. In a very patriarchal society, there were very few jobs that women could do, occupations. She had likely depended on her son after the death of her husband. And now she likely faced a future as a beggar on the streets. In the opposite of the hopeful situation when a marriage takes place, this seemed rather hopeless. And it calls into mind lots of questions when we see the ups and downs of life. Where is God in all of this? Well, it's easy when we're celebrating and things are going well. But in this situation, it seemed very hard to see God in it. But yet God was there when this woman was married, when this woman was blessed with a son, and God was there when her husband died, and God was indeed there when her son died. This gives us a lot of food for thought about our life and our faith and the experiences that we have there were a lot of people with this woman today because they knew what she was facing and they were with her, which was a good thing. Just as they gather together in weddings and celebrate, they gathered together today to mourn. And Jesus, too, had compassion, we're told, on her, which prompted him to say, do not weep. Words which at this point, probably didn't make a lot of sense, since she had every reason to cry and weep. And the crowds knew it. But what happened next, of course, is the focal point of this extraordinary story. Jesus approaches those who are carrying the dead young man, and he touches the platform that's supporting his body, the beer, and they all stood still. It's very dramatic. And Jesus speaks again, saying, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And he gave him to his mother. And we're told all the people were fearful and glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. The Perkimenon we use at other times of the year comes to mind. Who is so great a God as our God? We can see that with birth. We can see it with the beginning of life, and the joyous things of life, and the beauty of nature and the world. But we also have to remember to see it and sing it and say it and believe it. Even when tragedy is going on around us, even when the fallenness of the world is so apparent, God, indeed, the source of life itself, 
the Father, His only begotten Son and His Holy Spirit, the treasury of blessings and the giver of life, the Trinity, were present there. And they revealed themselves. On this day a widow and her fellow mourners have their sorrow transformed into great joy. The two crowds now become one, united in this great joy, having witnessed the compassion and the action of God in their presence. What are we to learn from all of this? First of all, that death, which we think is permanent and irreversible and the end of everything good and joyful, is not. It's not. We've got to fight that temptation as Christians anyway, God has power over it. And he has compassion for our pain and our suffering. It doesn't go unnoticed, even though sometimes we think it does. The raising of this young man from the dead is one of the messianic signs confirming the identity of Jesus in fulfillment of prophecy. And although we can rejoice for the widow in this story, we still mourn for the many who did and still do experience the death of their bodies, biological death, the end of life in the fallen world. We must remember, and this was but one of nine specific instances in both the Old and New Testaments, where people are raised from the dead. But it's not the resurrection that is to come. They are all signs pointing to God as the source of life. So biological resuscitation is not the resurrection. The only example of that we have is Christ. When he rises from the dead and he moves among people and speaks with his disciples and others in his raised and resurrected an immortal human body. The scene when Christ was crucified, again, was also very dramatic. The earth shook, the rocks were split, and the tombs also were opened, we're told in the scriptures, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Coming out of the tombs after Christ's resurrection, they went into the holy city of Jerusalem and appeared to many. This is chronicled for us in the Gospels. But all of these miracles were signs, again, reminding us, pointing to what is yet to come. For as we know, all of those who arose from the dead, including Lazarus, died again. And they all await with us the second coming of Christ and the universal and permanent resurrection of life of human life. So from this story, we're not to believe that God will always deliver all of us from all our sorrows and tribulations in the world, because he just does not do that. He lets us experience those things. But we also do know that he is with us in those tribulations and trials and sorrows, in his compassion and his mercy. And he's with us through our suffering. That although we may pray to be delivered from certain things, and sometimes we are, we must also at other times endure them for our salvation and to accept what St. Paul was told by God, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. The epistle today has a phrase in it, the appropriate time. And God only knows what the appropriate time is for these types of things to happen in our lives. It was indeed the appropriate time for this widow's son to be raised from the dead in front of all those people so that that event could be chronicled and remembered in scripture and preached from generation to generation up to the present to remind us of who it is that we believe in and pray to and worship, our God. 
So we live in hope with faith that according to Christ's promise, he has overcome the world, the fallen world. And that like the widow of Nain, our sorrow will also be transformed into joy, a very particular joy that endures beyond the temporary happiness of the world, a joy that no one will ever be able to take away from us. Amen. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikon, for his grace, our bishop Alexis, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. for the president of our country, for all those in civil authority, and for the armed forces everywhere. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy house, for all our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox departed this life before us, and for the newly departed Metropolitan Jonah of Kampala and all Uganda the Archpriest Sergei Anastasi and the Deacon Michael, the servants of God, Matushka Anisia, Timothy, Thomas, Pantaleman, and Aaron, and all those who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, for all those who are sick and suffering, among them Archbishops Benjamin and Michael, Archpriests Paul and Herman, Hieromonks Patrick and Joseph, Father Pantaleman, Mother Theodora, Deacon James, Matushki Olga, Suzanne, Cheryl, Larissa, Christine, Cynthia, Mark, Mary, and Marie, the servants of God, Alexandra, Peter, Christina, Aurora, John, Urania, Helen, Mary, Karen, Juliana, Candace, Marie, Jean, Carol, Barbara, Vasiliki, Jim, Andrew, Shirley, Janice, Matthew, Tay, David, Brian, Nichelle, Brenda, Joanne, Carol, Angela, Linda, Paul, Marianne, Cuny, Zena, Olga, Julia, Joan, Patricia, Andrea, Chris, Jennifer, Judith, Jay, Amanda, Gregory, Janine, Diane, Jordan, Yuri, Biotis, Michael, Vaza, Michelle, Vicky, Elizabeth, Mario, Natalia, Carl, Charlotte, Gloria, Kristen, Ivan, Ellen, Timothy, Marilyn, Wayne, Marianne, and Randy, and for the newly married Nicholas and Megan, and for the pardon and remission of, of all their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all-venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, your catechumen. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens, including Ryan, Matthew, Chris, Nicholas, Cameron, and Amy, that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth. 
they may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. That it may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, you catechumens. That with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, that guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and who sing the thrice holy hymn to the life greeting Trinity now lay aside all earthly cares. 
Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and who sing the thrice holy hymn to the life greeting Trinity now lay aside all earthly cares. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and who sing the thrice holy hymn to the life greeting Trinity now lay aside all earthly cares. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Forgive us, brothers and sisters in Christ. <coughs> His Beatitude, the Most Blessed T. Con, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of All America and Canada. His Grace, the Right Reverend Alexis, Bishop of Bethesda. May the Lord God bring his kingdom now and ever unto ages of ages. The entire Synod of Bishops of the Orthodox Church in America, the Honorable Priesthood, the Diaconate in Christ, all those in the monastic orders, the readers, singers, and servers of our church, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom always now and ever and on to ages of ages. The President of these United States, all those serving in seats of civil authority and those serving in our armed forces everywhere, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom, always now and ever and on to ages of ages. All those who are sick and suffering, in any kind of need, affliction or distress, those who are grieving, those who are persecuted for their faith throughout the world, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom, always now and ever and on to ages of ages. All those who have departed this life before us in the hope of the resurrection to life eternal, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. All those who are traveling this day, those who are absent from this service for a cause worthy of a blessing, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The servants of God, Nicholas and Megan, who are newly united in the community of marriage and their families, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may our good Lord remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. <coughs> Noble Joseph, when you take it down, that most pure body from the tree. Wrapped it in fine linen, anointed with spices, and laid it in the tomb of the body, and held the soul of our house with the feet from the throne of thy kingdom, and thou alone is Christ, filling all things, very much more fruitful than paradise, brighter than the royal chamber, the tomb of Christ, with the fountain of our resurrection, to which is I am in thy good pleasure, and both the pulse of Jerusalem, and them will not provide for thy sacrifices, and all the offerings, and bulls will be offered on thine altar. <laughs> Remember me, brother and fellow minister. May the Holy Spirit descend on you and the power of the Most High overshadow you. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Have mercy, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. All things that are good.
good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. <coughs> Peace be unto all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and one people. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Right. To him, need a blessing.
bless thee, praise thee, give thanks to thee, and worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, and eternally the same. Thou, thy only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who brought us from non existence into being, and when we had fallen away, did raise us up again, and did not cease to do all things until thou brought us up to heaven, and had endowed us with thy kingdom, which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee and to thine only begotten Son and to thy Holy Spirit for all things of which we know and of which we know not whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy which thou hast deigned to accept at our hands though there stand by thee thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, who soar aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed powers, O Master, who lovest mankind, we also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and all holy thou, and thy only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and all holy and magnificent is thy glory. Who has so loved thy world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Who, when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering the saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Thine own, of thine own, we offer unto thee on behalf of all and for all. O Lord, who did send down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour, take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. O Lord, who did send down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour, take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. O Lord, who did send down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour, take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Again we offer unto thee this reasonable and bloodless worship and ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered. Bless, Master, the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. Bless, Master, the Holy Cup. That which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Bless both, Master. Making the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always, now and ever, and in two ages of ages. Amen. That they may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, and not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially for our most holy, pure, 
blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. who rightly teach the word of thy truth, all the priests, the deacons in Christ, every order of the clergy. Again we offer unto thee this reasonable worship for the whole world, for the holy Catholic and apostolic church, for those who live in purity and holiness of life, for all in civil authority. Grant them, O Lord, peaceful times, that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Among the first, remember, O Lord, his beatitude, our metropolitan, teak on his grace, our bishop Alexis. Grant them for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to define the word of thy truth. And, and grant that with one mouth and one heart we may praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. And with your Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy and altar above the heavens as a spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. Ask you to the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say.
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King of this book, who by thy measureless power did make all things and in the great thy mercy did bring all things from non-existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, the awesome God. Do thou thyself, O Master, distribute these gifts here offered unto all of us for good, according to the, the individual need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air. Heal the sick, O thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us attend the holy things for the holy. Divided and distributed is the Lamb of God, who is divided and not disunited, is every and ever but so, sanctifying those who pertain to us. Jesus Christos Nika, Jesus Christ, the Father of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Blessed is the warmth of thy holy things, always now and ever, unto ages and ages. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. And I believe also that this is truly Thine own most pure body, and this is truly Thine own precious blood. Therefore, I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mysteries to thine enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen. Lo, I draw near to my immortal King and God.
In the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. 
O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Thou art our sanctification, and unto Thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them and return by thy divine power and forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, of St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of our church, St. Herman of Alaska, St. Innocent Apostle to America, and of all the saints who have arisen in this land, the holy fathers of the Seventh Ecumenical Council, the martyrs Yolampias and Yolampia, and their companions, whom we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Before the announcements, I'd like the church school teachers and students to come forward and venerate the cross and get them on their way.
Okay, a few announcements from the bulletin today. Uh, let's see. Congratulations to Nick Fitzgerald and Megan O'Brien and their families who were married yesterday. Wish them many years. Today, um, our sister parish, St. Andrew's Romanian Orthodox Church on River Road, 9111 River Road, is having the conclusion of their ethnic food festival. So if you're hungry and you've got some time and you want to go over there and support them, I'm sure they would appreciate it. It's uh, literally right on River Road on your way to Potomac on the right side. So today is our first all school, church school class. So we're trying some things a little bit differently. We'll see how that works out together with the different age groups and everything. We try to do that once a month. Welcome all visitors we have with us today. We'd like to invite you downstairs for some coffee and light refreshments in the parish hall. Uh, if you did register for the Shady Grove banquet on Tuesday evening, we appreciate that. It is a, a worthy um, charitable, charitable organization, Crisis Pregnancy Center, to support. Uh, if you have not and you want to go last minute, please contact Dika Sipu. And I believe her contact information is in the bulletin. Okay. There's lots more in there. We have a parish Christmas card coming. And if you're interested in uh, having your name, your family's name uh, in there, please see Coy Williamson. Oh, parish cleanup day. I almost forgot. Saturday, October 23rd. Very important. Try to get the, uh, get the parish in shape, the lands, the grounds, the church in shape. Uh, in case we have an in-person uh, bazaar, but also it just needs to be done. And even if we don't have an in-person bazaar, if we have people coming and picking up food, they're going to see our church and our grounds, so we want to make it nice. All right, I think that's it for now. You're welcome to come and venerate the cross. Christ is in our midst. Glory to you, God. Glory.